Hello guys, welcome back to another, to another video, and today we are going to be doing part tool, why did I say tool, to, um, two to their dual request system. So, um, what we're going to be adding today is actually like the dual, but like we're, I'm going to do a part three, um, because this is just like the basic part, so like just starting it off, but in, in the next video, um, I'm going to be, well, not the next video, but the next dual request system video, I'm going to actually like finish the dual system. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go into our other place that we added. And um, it's not gonna show up for you guys, but um, I am going to switch it real quick. Once this loads. Uh, okay, this is taking up. Oh, okay, it's not responding. Great. I love it when Roblox Studio doesn't respond. Oh gosh, no. Wait, I did something. No, wait. Okay, never mind, never mind. We're good, we're good. Okay, I'm going to load it up again because, um, yeah. Uh, hit it. Oh, gosh. Okay, so, uh, it loaded, so I'm going to switch over. Okay, so, <laughs> the textures are kind of weird, but I think it's fine. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, that's a pretty good size base plate, I guess. And then, let's see. I'm actually gonna um, scale this down a little bit. Let's make this a thousand by one by a thousand. Okay. Now, this we can make a thousand by one by a thousand. Okay. So, I'm just making it so that you can spawn anywhere here. We're going to change that next time, but um, for now, this is good. Uh, I guess it's zero, zero, zero. Oh, I got to go up one. Okay. So, oh, wait, what? Wait, is, what position is this in? Oh, it's negative eight. Okay, zero by, okay. That's in the center. Uh, okay, that's good. Now we can make it invisible, make it um, can collide off and, okay, that's good. Now we can actually start doing stuff. But the first thing that I think we should do is add a local script into um, uh, starter player scripts. Let's call this disable reset because we we don't want the other person to be able to reset so um all we're gonna say is local start uh i guess started you sg for started ui we're going to say game get service started ui then we, let's wait one and then say sg set core reset button callback and um then false. And let's test if that works. So, down here. Yep, I can't click reset. Also, I'm going to put this onto, um, uh, player choice. I mean, no, actually R6 because I just like R6. It just feels, it just looks better to me. Okay. Now that we have that, we can do a couple other things. So in replicated storage, let's add two remote events. One of them, let's call start, and the other, let's call start time. Okay, so we're going to add a script into here. Uh, let's call this script start, and um, inside the script, we're going to Let's just wait five because then, you know, after like five seconds, it'll start the countdown. And then we can say um, local uh, time, you know, uh, I don't know, uh, what should we call it? Um, timer? 
I'm not sure. But I'm just going to set that to 5 because the last countdown should be like 5 seconds. So now that we have the timer, we can say for i equals timer. Oops. For i equals timer. Um, so we're going um, from timer um, until 1. And then we're going to go by negative 1. So um, we're just saying i is equal to timer. My, um and that like uh every single time we go through this i will be um minus one and um it's going from timer which is five to one so it's just make creating a basic timer and um now what we can say in here is um game dot replicated storage dot uh start time oops start time oops fire all clients and we can give um i and then all i have to do is say wait well wait one okay now that we have that done then um after it does this we should be able to start the game so game dot replicated storage dot start fire all clients and um then we can say uh Actually, let's do this a little bit later. Let's, uh, I'm gonna finish with that right now. Okay, then we can go into start UI. And this is when we're gonna create the um, start GUI. Cause um, it's like the start timer GUI. Actually, I don't think we need a frame. We just need a text label. Okay, then uh, Let's set the size to one by zero by one by zero. That sets it to the whole screen. And we can say text. Let's just set it equal to uh, nothing. Oops. Let's just set it to nothing for now. And then I guess text scaled and uh, you know background is zero okay so now we can like set the uh text to like five four three oh gosh oh rich text just makes it extremely big yeah i don't want that then it makes it like makes it very pixelized that's not very rich <laughs> but um that looks more rich if if i'm saying any if I have any say in this, um, I'd say that looks more rich. And um, let's actually just uh, set this to invisible for a start. And um, in here, we're going to create a local script. And um, in this local script, we're going to say um, game.replicatedStorage.startTime. Oops. Dot on serve client event connect function and it's going to give uh the time uh let's just call it timer i don't even know uh well actually wait no it wouldn't give the timer wait no it, wait, it would oh my gosh i don't even know what i'm saying it will give the time left we sh but oh yeah that that would make sense yeah, time left makes sense. Okay, um, we're going to say script dot parent dot uh, script dot parent script dot parent dot text label dot visible is equal to true, and we're going to um, set the text label so script dot oops script dot parent dot text label dot text is equal to two string time left okay now in here we can say um gate dot replicated storage dot start dot on client event connect function and um i forgot does it take any in anything wait no it shouldn't well, yeah it shouldn't okay and we can say script dot parent dot text label dot text is equal to fight because well, you can do whatever you want here. I'll just do fight because 
at the end you fight. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're gonna say game dot replicated storage dot start fire server because we want to give it back to the um server. And then we're just gonna say like wait three seconds because um we want the thing to be on the screen for three seconds. Then we can just say script dot parent dot text label dot oops dot visible is equal to false. Okay. So um when we fire it back to the server, we're going to say, well, like when we fire back to the server, that's when we give the player the backpack. I mean, when we get, not the backpack, we give the player the sword or whatever you want to, like whatever tool you want to give the player. So I'm gonna say game dot, oops, game dot replicated storage dot start dot on, oops, why do I say om? On server vent connect function, PLR. And um, we're gonna say local, Sword is equal. Oh, wait, wait, I forgot to get the sword. Uh, gotta go into test. No, view toolbox and sword. I'm just going to use the Roblox classic sword because it's easier. And I'm going to rename it to sword and put it into server storage. Yeah, I guess server storage is a good place. So we're gonna say game dot server storage dot sword clone. And um now all we're gonna say is sword dot parent is equal to PLR dot backpack. And that should actually be it if um if this all went correctly, which is gonna be surprising for me because almost nothing goes Correct. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, I forgot to set. Wait, what? Huh? I just spawned outside the map. What? What? That's not the spawn point. Wait, where's the spawn point? Bruh. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Now it's better. Okay. So now we spawn in. We wait five seconds. Also, my computer is very loud. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, fight. And then it gives me the sword. Then three seconds, it goes away. Oh gosh. Okay, we did it. Um, yeah. So it'll do that for every single player, uh, as you see in this, because it um, does this for every single um, client. So it'll give the sword to every single player. So um, that was actually a kind of quick video. If you say that like 13, like 13 to 14 minutes is quick. Um, but other than that, uh, I'll see you guys in that. Oh, um, uh, this is linked down in the description below. Um, please say, okay, it crashed. Great. Uh, <laughs> this game is linked down in the description below. Uh, well, it's uncopy locks, so you can just take it. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, and bye.